Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Remember last week on my wait what tip video, I showed you how to make some of our punches smaller, an easier way for you to insert your cardstock in and turn it around the corner of a punch. If you missed that, head over to my blog www.stampabove.com and check that out because it really simplifies shortening up punched shapes. So one of you lovelies came up with a brilliant idea and asked me if I could show you how to extend punched shapes. And I thought that was brilliant. So today's video, I'm gonna show you how to extend some of our punches and make them that much more useful for you. Let's flip the camera around. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. This is one of the punches, our classic label punch, that I showed you last week how to make your little shape shorter in a very easy way. But what if you want to make it longer? What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to take a look at your punch and you're going to measure how big is this opening. So this punched shape is how wide when you punch it. And this one is about 3 8 of an inch. So what I did is I took a piece of our Mary Merlot cardstock and I cut it at 3 8 of an inch wide, wide, tall, and then I just cut a strip. So the easiest way to do this is to take a piece of cardstock and place it in your punch, okay? And now, just like we did before, we're going to slip that into the wide part of the punch bring it around the corner, pull your cardstock out, and now we're gonna punch that end. Now, we could have just put the whole piece in here, whoops, hang on, my left hand, and punched it, but I want this to be longer than this punch punches. So what I'm gonna do once I have that end punched, now I'm going to turn it around and do the same thing and bring it in here. How long do I need for my sentiment? Let's say I need it to be that long, punch it off, see if you can do that. That's skill. <laughs> and now we have a long classic label. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I played around with this quite a bit. I'm going to bring in our everyday label punch and what I did with that is I took and I measured how wide is the opening and it's about one and a half inches and I'd say just a tiny bit under one and a half inches. So I cut a piece that is one and a half inches wide. Now I'm going to slip a piece of cardstock in here because that just helps you feed this in. Okay, if you're trying to do this, again, it's hard to get in that side over there. Put yourself a piece of cardstock in. This works really good for my video last week too, and I didn't think of it. So there's another little tidbit. But I'm going to slide this in here and I'm gonna punch that end. And now instead of this wide, I want it to be this wide. So I'm gonna do the same thing and slide this in here, pull that paper out, <laughs> punch again. Sorry, you guys, this is gonna be a loud video. And now I've got a label that is this big. I could put this on my card like this, I could put it on my card like this, but do you see how that makes this punch just a whole nother punch, basically. So I thought as long as I'm goofing around with punches, I brought in my story label punch. I'm like, hmm, I wonder how this one would work. So again, I took that and I measured from the widest point here. And what I came up with is it's about one and a half inches wide. So again, I'm going to put this in here. Now with this one, because it um, graduates on both sides to a smaller size, you're gonna need to put your paper right in the middle to get it in there at one and a half inches. And I'm going to push it over. Let's see if I can hold onto my punch this time so it doesn't go flying. And now I have the punched end here. And then I'm just gonna turn it around and do the same thing over here. And let's see, how big do I need this to be? Maybe right about there. You're gonna measure whatever you're gonna stamp on there. And now we have this punch in a much longer version. So I had another punch. Are you guys still with me? I don't want anybody sleeping here. How about the jar punch? Like this is a really cool punch. 
Again, I took it and I measured it from side to side. Now this one was a little more challenging in that your cardstock only goes in here this far. So what I was thinking is I could make a taller jar and I'm like, oh, I can't do that because I can't push it through like this like I did the other ones. I am stuck by the bottom of the punch. But then I thought, no, 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 keep going, Kelly. Measured from here to here. And that one is about one and three eighths inches wide. And I thought, well, I want a taller jar than this jar. So I cut my cardstock at three inches. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring my scrap in here. I'm gonna push this in and I'm going to punch the bottom of my jar with those nice little rounded edges, right? And then I'm going to put my cardstock back in here and I'm going to punch the top of my jar. So I can make a jar any length that I want by doing it this way. And there we have it. So let's see, where is my original, I don't think I punched an original. So I'm gonna punch an original jar and you can see that this one is taller. Let's punch this and we'll punch this. And we'll punch this. There we go. Okay, so we have that one. We have this one, the original and the modified. Here is this one and the modified. And then this one and the modified. So now, are you guys looking at your punches going, oh, what can I do that with? Because I know I would be. This was really exciting for me and I wanna thank one of my followers for bringing this to my attention and making me think outside the box on how I could create something like this. So show you guys how to do this, right? Okay, don't forget, today is Wednesday, it's hump day, and I always share a joke of the week on my blog. You're gonna find my blog right here. If you would like to order any Stampin' Up! products from me, I always appreciate your orders. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to earn your business, and I'd be happy to send you our catalogs that we have right now. All you have to do is pop me an email, take off the www, and just put Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at stampabove.com. Pop me an email with your address and I'd be happy to send you the catalogs that we have right now. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. You can click right up here. That'll take you right over to my blog. You're going to find an online ordering button where you can place orders if you need anything. You're also going to see pictures of what I've done here that'll help you remember um, the measurements and stuff. I'll write those down in the blog post. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Have yourselves a wonderful Wednesday. Bye-bye.